And here we go. James Harden can score, drain, shoot, hit, drill, flush, finish. Bop. Many ways that we can describe getting a bucket, but what's his best attribute? He's working me. Mm. So the James Harden 30-point streak tour live from Minnesota at the top of the hour. He's only one game shy of tying Wilt Chamberlain's second longest streak at 31 consecutive games. And here's a look at how he got to the doorstep of this feat. James Harden is the most unique offensive weapon that the NBA will ever see. Welcome to the James Harden Show. Oh, Harden, the shot's supposed to look that easy for an NBA player, right? James Harden has been on this historical stretch. Yo, yeah, Maury will not shave his own beard until the streak ends. I think he can keep his razor in his belt. He's adding something to his game every year. The fact that he gets better every year is, is literally impossible. One of the all-time great scores in the history of this game. James Harden blocked this, and he put JaVale McGee on a poster. Anything under 50, we feel like we should see it as a group. If he scores over 50, then the game plan did not work. They actually have the over-under for him today is 41. Over. He just walked into the gym. <laughs> he already has 30. James Harden with 61 points. Is that good? I'm told that's good. Shoot for the win. He got it. James Harden up. His incredible streak still alive. And there's 30. There it is. 29 straight games at 30 for three. Got it! The streak continues! 31 points for James Harden. That's 30 straight games now. We're such suckers for streaks, aren't we? So this one goes all the way back to mid-December. If he gets the 30 tonight, he does match that second longest streak that Wilt Chamberlain holds right now. You've heard that. But 53% of those points have come on ISO plays during that 30-point streak. He scored 656 points out of isolation. That's nearly 500 more than any other player during that stretch. And he's averaging a little over 36 points a game. And as it stands, he would be the ninth highest average entering All-Star Weekend. Mm. He'd be the highest since Jordan, oh, I've heard of him, averaged 37 points a game at the break way back in 1987. A lot of gushing and loving and people are really in on this James Harden streak right now. So what is it? We, we asked Doris, what's so hard to tough? What, hard to tough? What's so hard to guard about him? Well, he just, he has no offensive weaknesses. None. I mean, if you try to pressure him, his handle's good enough to get around you. If you give him a little space, he'll, he'll, he'll <laughs> pop a three on you right there in your face. I mean, he draws fouls. You put a small guy on him, he can post him up. He's an elite passer. If you bring two to him, he can find any open man. He just has no weaknesses, and, and he's efficient. You know, and he finishes in traffic, he finishes in the paint, he got a mid-range game. I mean, the dude is just, he's, his, his offensive repertoire is amazing. Yeah, I mean, his ball handling and footwork really sets up everything, and because he's so dangerous from outside, you don't know whether to get up on him, back off, and I think his jumper really sets up everything. When you're such a dangerous jump shooter, I know when I win the games and my shot was on, there was, I wasn't going to be stopped tonight because I know you got to play up on me. That way I can get by. I was strong enough to get my man on my shoulder and finish. And that's what James Harden does consistently every single night. And so uh, I don't see no blueprint on how to stop him. The only thing you can do is probably trap him and get the ball out of his hands. So let me ask you this. Obviously, all of this is moot if you go into the postseason and just you're lousy. Mm -hmm. So as far as the style of play that he is so good at, what concerns do you have with that as we move forward? I know for me... Personally, I mean, you know, he's he's beautiful to watch, but as a team, I don't really enjoy watching their games. Um, they don't run a lot of plays. They don't run any plays. You know, they James just kind of has the ball in his hands for the entire shot clock. They'll run a screen. If they trap it, he'll stop running screens and just ISO. It's just not a beautiful brand of basketball to watch for me, um, but they get wins, and it's effective, and he's a great player, but... I'm, I'm just not a huge fan of the way that they play. Well, the ISO ball has proved to be effective for them over the last couple of years. Um, last year, they were one game away from making the finals playing this style. If you remember, they said a team, a jump shooting team, could not win a championship, and Golden State proved that wrong. Could this ISO ball team win a championship, which we saw they were one game away and possibly winning. So, you know, the... The game has changed, and we have to accept where it is because this is a very effective way to play because he's the best one-on-one -on -one player. So they're playing to their strengths, putting shooters around them, and, and he just goes to work. So, you know, if they can get a healthy Chris Paul, they're going to be a major threat to the Warriors. Guys, All-Star Weekend. It's this weekend. Oh, I'm so glad I'll be at home. It's <laughs>